Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show, yeah, me, about yeah, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month, that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little With extra. A little extra. Uncensored. Unedited. And almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. So exciting. So exciting. Um, you know, Techni Rob and I are um, CPAP bros. You know, yeah. we, we share that bond of both being uh, CPAP users. And uh, he recommended a new product for me to, um, as a, a CPAP accessory. But I don't know if I'm going gonna, if I'm gonna to be able to do it. Okay. Um, it's a chin strap, right, yeah. Rob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a chin do, I mean a chin strap. <laughs> and why did you, it, it wraps around your head and then around the back of your head. And, and it's almost like a, a sling that you wrap around your head and, and under your chin. Mm -hmm. So what if does you it have do? the CPAP, why do you need it? Because it keeps my, my mouth closed in the middle of the night. So it doesn't like, because for like a month or so, and I'm just not getting it fixed. Uh, my mouth would open in the middle of the night and the mask would come up from under my lip and go inside my mouth. And that would either wake me up or like um, the dry mouth that ensues because of that. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, when your when your lip goes over that thing, it's just blowing air right into your mouth. Right. If your mouth's open and that thing's blowing air, it's blowing. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, but I don't. I don't have that problem. Man. My mouth being open. <laughs> you know. So does this thing work? It, it, last night was the the first time I've not woken up with a uh, dry mouth in about a month. So the CPAP only goes into your no, into your nostrils, right? No, it starts it covers my nose and my mouth. It's but, like an oxygen mask. But it goes okay. To, okay. To, to just underneath my bottom lip when my mouth is closed. So during the night when my mouth would go slack, uh, right in between the lips and just chilling there. Okay. For some so reason I would think that, rubber piece. Mm -hmm. I would think the mask would seem to be the thing that would keep your mouth from opening, but I guess it doesn't. No, cuz it, it only goes on like the I yeah. When I had the wrong size, it would go under my chin, but it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to rest underneath your lip. So now you have a CPAP mask 
and then a, a thing that wraps around your head to keep runs the length of your head to keep your chin from your mouth from open. That is correct. Hmm. And it seals off okay. It doesn't get in the way of the masks. No nope. sealing. No. Uh, last night was the like because the the CPAPs will give you like a report card at the end of it, kind of. Yeah. Thing. And it's the first time I've not had a red smiley face or frowny face uh, where the mask seal thing is in, in like a month or so. Yeah. Well, uh, I've spent. You know, I spent my whole youth avoiding uh, report cards, so <laughs> I still do that with the CPAP. I was wondering. I, did, I, was I like, haven't you know, looked at that. Look at that damn report card. No way. <laughs> it tells you on the machine. Yeah. yeah. Somehow it knows if you, you like. I think because it's like pressing air into your face, that if there's a leak in the mask and that air comes out, it's it knows it's pushing too much because there's yeah, uh, you know, ex- excess air going in. It doesn't and, need to be there all the time. And it'll also tell you, if you look at it, a little thing will come on and say the mask is not sealed. Mm-hmm. But you would have to be awake to see that. <laughs> um, but I, I never look at any of the, of, of the report things or any of that. But I bet it is um, a sight to yeah, see sure. you with a, with a chin sling <laughs> <laughs> and a CPAP mask. Uh, wow. But uh, your girlfriend... Uh, Meredith doesn't have a problem with mouth droopage in the night with her CPAP. She might, but it's, there's no way that's waking her up. <laughs> have She's you, out. Has she had that the whole time y'all have known each other? No, she got it about a couple, couple, th- maybe three years ago. And what was it like for her before she got that? Uh, she snored a lot. It sounds like this sounds like a CPAP infomercial. But, and tell us yeah. what life was like before the CPAP. <laughs> tell us how far you've come. <laughs> but she was a, a, a really bad snorer. Yeah. It was rough. More than you? Uh, I mean, I don't know how. I don't know if I snore or not, to be honest. You just know you can't breathe with that. I just know that they yeah. told me I was having 30 occurrences a, day, a night, an hour, and I was like, oh, that's not good, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's this really popular stuff. You see it on TikTok and Instagram all the time. It's called hostage tape. Yeah, I thought about getting that, but I also thought that maybe it would just rip my hairs out when I woke yeah. up in the morning. How does that work? It's like um, a piece of tape essentially and it just goes over your mouth to keep force your mouth closed because they said there's so many benefits of just at night breathing through your nose yeah mm-hmm. it helps like they say it you know heals all but you know that wouldn't stick to my oily ass face very long <laughs> yeah you need like four pieces to like <laughs> i'd need to, to bolt it in yeah <laughs> yeah R- riggins you're getting targeted ads for CPAPs now that me and tj are around you every day <laughs> something yeah but that people rave about that stuff though but not, or just actually just taping your mouth closed. Yeah, there's nothing else to it. It's just a piece of tape yeah. that goes over your mouth. It's like it looks like an X. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's tape, and yeah, they rave about it. <laughs> uh, Rob, do you think you would ever do that thing that they do the implant into your throat and then you control it on, as an app? Ooh, I don't know that I like that. What a throat implant! <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I heard otherwise. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because uh, my doctor said that that was um, uh, a good alternative, but I said I don't want to be doing anything messing with my throat because I talk for a living. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to do that. Um, but if I got out of the business, I would. I would try it. You get that throat implant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I'd pay a lot for it. I bet you love yeah. it too. <laughs> <laughs> you look but, like you'd use a throat implant. <laughs> But you know that's something that I would forget to. I wouldn't update the app enough, and you know, <laughs> your firmware would be all out of date. Uh huh. You'd lose the password or something. And yeah. Then, yeah. Hey, Regan's, what's the password to my to my breathing? He's calling you like eight. I would nine. love that though. Like, oh, I got the password to your throat implants right here. Hmm. <laughs> 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 but um, how much was your little your little uh, chin sling? I don't think it was much. I, I I got I ordered it yesterday from Amazon and it came the same day. Uh, I want to say like ten maybe. Okay. That's so it's a, it's so yeah. is it is it a CPAP accessory or is it one of these things that can be used for any number of things? You just happen to use it for this. I happen to search for uh, sleep. What was it? Uh, mouth closed for CPAP is what I searched for. <laughs> and it came it came it gave me a whole bunch of the tape options and I just didn't feel yeah. good. these things are crazy. But Ace, you sleep with your mouth open. Maybe you get one of those. Yeah, I need something, I'm sure. Because then you try some kind of a mouthpiece one yeah, time. Yeah, that didn't work. And, <clears throat> that didn't work at all. No. But this would, like, there's no way you'd be able to open your mouth with this thing on. You got, I, I got to cinch that thing tight. No wieners getting in here when I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
The wiener block <laughs> is what it should be called. Nobody's teabagging me. <laughs> the wiener block. <laughs> yeah, send sure Ace the link to that. I bet you that that would, I mean, that would get, keep your mouth closed when you're sleeping. Got you. Got but you. I did a thing like that that went around my head. Oh, you did? That didn't work. Yeah, it went under my chin and up around my head, and it didn't work. And yeah, that's exactly yeah, what this it, is. It popped off or something in the middle of the night. Yeah, this, one, just, this one has a little a little strap that goes around the back of your head to make sure it doesn't pop off that way. Yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. similar, but send me the link. I'd like to see it. It's crazy. Look at you. Mm-hmm. And there are hoses coming out of me. Because <laughs> Because Ace looks yeah. uh, like he had passed whenever he's asleep. If he wasn't, you know, snoring or whatever, you would think he had passed. That's sad but true, yes. Because we uh, took a picture of him on a road trip one time, and he looked like um, like he had passed, and he was, and that we were in a uh, ZZ Top tribute band. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> I don't think I sleep with my mouth open. The weird part is I didn't for the first few months that I had the CPAP. And now, and since like a month ago, I just wake up with the driest of mouth. And um, Yum. yeah, it's great. Yeah. This is a little bit different than the one that I have, but it's, but it's kind of similar. Maybe the strap around the back would be helpful. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's so sexy. Yeah. You mean something that has a strap around the back? <laughs> oh, you love that, don't you? You love it. It's the Ace and TJ Show with a little something extra. This is the Extra Funny Podcast. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston.